Hi, this is Paul from GlobalTradingSoftware.com and this is a tutorial video for Forex traders using our expert algo. Some of them saying too many signals, when do I take them, when do I don't. So this is a three minute time frame, high Kanashi candles and we've got uh, this big support and resistance zone from the 15 minute. Okay, so this is the main one that, that causes quite a bit of problems. So I just want to go through the last sort of 24 hours or so when to trade. Obviously this six star buy coming down here was, was great, uh, but I just want to go through um, the price action where you should be drawing some uh, smaller support and resistance zones and what trades to take and what not to take sort of thing. Okay, so we had a pullback here. We had a four, five, six star buy. Um, let's just zoom in a little bit here. So the main thing for me is um, have we got enough fresh air for this four, five, six star buy? Not forgetting this is in the Asian session. So this is, uh, you know, I'm in bed at this time. This is um, 12.45 where the cursor is now uh, a.m. The six star buy comes at 1.39 a.m. European time. So this is Asian session. Uh, entry is simple above here. Once it starts to go into resistance and break and doesn't break it and starts to move back down, you get out. Also, then we need to start to consider um, that there was good support here, short term support. Put it in a different colour. Okay, put that in there. Put it in a different colour, maybe purple or something. So we know from this support um, on this particular day, we had good four, five, six star buys into this resistance zone. When this pulls back, however, we get a five star and a six star buy, but it's going into resistance. We don't take it. These are no go because we've already got this 15 minute um, zone on our chart. It's attempted to go through, through there already and fails. Come back down. We've got five, six star buy. They were okay for scalps, but we're going into resistance. Don't take the chance. Then we come back down from this resistance. Got a double top here. Recognize that pattern. Recognize this very short term support here. Okay. We get a six star sell candle that breaks this support good little short into this previous support zone. This support zone has been uh, has held. So what do we do? We just extend that out a little bit. Okay, we know that's held. We get a five and a six star buy here. Now, it's a tough one this one because there's not a lot of room to this resistance zone here. So don't take it. Six star buy here. Okay, you, you've got to break through resistance. Again, we're coming into uh, the sort of US pre-market session here. We've had some rejection, okay? We've had some rejection. When we get this six star buy signal here, it could get rejected there. So don't take it. It comes back down. It tries to break through, no signals, okay? Let's extend this out again, okay? And then we've got this little rejection up here. This is all short term stuff, but we've got to understand what's going off here. We get another five and six star buy signals into this resistance. If we trade this, we're potentially going to get broken down again at this point. Don't take the signals. It's about understanding and continually putting these in. So again, we come out of this resistance with a six star sell take it we've got a lot of fresh air to this main support that we've that we've continued on from the other days take the trade we get a six star sell at the support don't short into support we come back down no signals we get a six star buy six star buy candle actually has a high above this major resistance zone take the trade we get out of the trade to take the profit. We get a six star sell into support. Don't short into support. We've got these on for a reason. We know now again, what should we be doing with our chart right now? We should be putting uh, this zone on here. Okay. 
we should be putting this as a potential support here okay so we're fra we're continually framing our chart and we're looking for fresh air and i've gone through some of these fresh air here take it okay fresh air here take it no fresh air don't take it you've got to be sensible and you've got to understand where the short term and the longer term on the 15 minute support and resistance zones are so if we get a, a six star or five star buy signal right now we've got a plenty of fresh air to this next resistance zone. we take the trade if it comes out up here close to the resistance we don't take the trade unless the signal candle gets us through this resistance it's all about continually monitoring and putting those support and resistance zones on you cannot rely blindly on any algorithm you need to understand the chart craft and the support and resistance zones whether on the 15 minute or on this three minute what's happened recently where is it rejected we had a great six star sell into this point but then when we got another six star sell here we don't short into support we got another higher support zone here good higher support than this previous one this is looking good six star buy candle the high the entry is above that major resistance zone let's go long okay hopefully this helps